has its torsional strength, and then we can move it and shift it and bend it because we've warmed it up. Actually, I should probably help that. And it just gives you that ability to move it and animate it and shift it, bend it, and ever, because you're trying, you're trying to make all the lines balance and complement each other. So you spend hours and hours and hours moving it, tweaking it, and making the model stand on one toe. You become, you become obsessed with the, with the detail of it, in the sense that I spent a lot of time with this piece working on the negative spaces, working on these shapes, because these became very important in the design. And so I was forever making tiny little moves and tiny little tweaks. So, so this, is, this is a larger rendering. And basically, as you move up in scale, you get more sort of confident in it. And the image proves itself. If it works small, it doesn't always work large. So you have to keep sort of testing it and moving it and adjusting it. This this is more intimate, and you get you get lost in it. I can spend you know, hours and hours and hours in a little tiny area. And then when, when I look into the room, my eyes are blurred because I've been focusing on such a, a close piece. And what, what I wanted to happen with it, I mean, typically with this sort of sculpture, all the, the arms and the hands would be fused on. But I, want, I wanted this, I wanted all the little gaps of light behind the fingers, and the backs of the hands and everywhere you look at it you can see light and you can see the different negative shapes forming different patterns and so this is about this is about the sort of companionship of women for women because men we just don't do that but women women bond together in a different way